going to start with uh, Glee, and uh, she's going to be taking these lambs and ewes out. And you can see the ewes protect their little babies. So it's a little different for Glee. It's something uh, she has to do moving to a separate yard. Now this is complicated by uh, Orca, who's in old weather. You can see out front. And Glee also has to move him in addition on, away, to the unruly away, lambs away, away, and the ewes. Away, 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 walk him up. Let's go, Glee. Away, 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 away. Walk him up. Walk him up, away. Get up, Glee. Get up. Get up, Glee. Glee, walk. This is Glee moving the mom ewes, a couple of weathers, and the baby lambs, which she had a lot of trouble doing at first. But now Barry's got her doing it. Including Orca. Nobody can move Orca. What a recall. Here we have Kef and Barry doing some farm work. Moving the sheep from the round pen up to the back 40. I just want Kef to keep control of the sheep as we head out over to the upper pasture. Uh, we can also get a little practice in on driving sheep through panels, which we have to do in trials. But during the summer, it's too hot to practice much. So I do it while we're moving the sheep or doing something else with them. Now Kef is going to move these sheep over to the gate where the other pasture starts. You can see he's moving them on up. And then once he gets there, I'm going to have to move them out of the way. Because once they get to the gate, they want to go in. And they don't give me any room to get in there and let them in without running over me. So I'm going to have them put them up by the gate and then move them out of the way and then bring them through. And then hold them when I go and check to make sure there's water in the pasture. So this is the practical side of uh, the dogs learning to control the sheep and be patient. It's going to take me a while to get out there and to get the sheep into that pasture. So Kev has to just listen and, and do what I ask and that uh, keeps the sheep under control.
Now as I get closer to the gate, I'm having Cap move him out of the way so I can get to the gate and open it without them running over me. And uh, he's obliging and bringing him around. At this point I just have them in a position just to keep the sheep where they are. So now Kev pushes them in, gets them in there, and we'll go check, make sure there's water in there for him. He's going to keep over away from the gate, and I'll give him a that'll do, and we'll be done. Well, that's all for today. Good boy, Kef. That'll do.